Today I'm going to be working with my budgie. You. She's pretty. Come here. You shouldn't really um hold them like this because it it um closes their chest and they can't don't have really good respiratory, so I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. I'm trying to get her so you guys can get a better look at her. <laughs> she does have a minor wing injury on her left, I think. That kind of um, affects how she flies, so I have to keep her wings clipped. Um, when I got her, her, I don't think they fed her right, and her, her, um, her, her wings were really, um, her color wasn't vibrant, and that's a sign of, like, I think she's gonna come say hi. We're just gonna see. And if you see her step down and flare her wing out, that's why uh, my uh, my other budgie, Prada, P and U. I call them P and U because that's U and that's P. Um, is not very tame. Even though I got her before you. You is a snuggler, and she will um snuggle. He snuggle here. Let me show you guys. He snuggle. Yes, she does snuggle. Um, but today I'm going to show you how tame she is, and just tell you a little bit about tips on taming your budgie. Um, unlike the one in the cage, which I'm still working with. She, her foot's a little, so she doesn't really like stepping up as much, but she does like being rubbed on her stomach and her back. She likes that. Come here, baby. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the camera to a new location. minor bites and you see if she can step up and fly back to the cage she's usually good if I leave the cage open um she doesn't fly out fly out as much she's trained she's trained to fly back to the cage once on my hand so just like that and she still work. She's she's probably a couple, like a year old, I'd say. So she's still working on stepping up. Um, so she, it's easier if I hold her in the palm of my hand. Like, come here, baby. Come here. She's a little hand shy. She'll go around my hands and she'll touch my hands. But see, it's easier if I hold her in the palm. It gives her more of a grip for her because her legs are little as like a baby's legs are little as well. So. Um. I'll give you a closer look so you can see her see her wing so this is her wing I don't think it's yeah it's not this wing it's the other one hey I know she's sensitive about it but um to be honest with you I think her claws talons hurt more than her beak do 
Um, Prada is definitely the dominant of the cage. When they first got her, they thought she was a girl, and now I think she's a boy, but... You, I think I've always knew that she was a girl, but, um, see, she'll, like, touch. <laughs> I put my arm like this, and she went, she, she, um, has really vibrant blue under her wings. Let's see if I can show you guys. Come here, babe. It's okay. Under there, how she likes to be pet. Here, <laughs> she won't let go. Um, she does know how to open her cage. She's not gonna do it now, but um, Prada is knows how to talk a little. She can high very lightly. Um, Prada likes to be in her cage a lot. If you can't see, she really enjoys being in her cage, don't you? And the thing about Prada is that she's not just a green parakeet. She also has some blue in her. I want to say that you is a pie, but I don't really know her her coloring. I think Prada's a spangle. I don't know. She's trying to. She's. She's trying to find the opening of the cage so she can get back in with her buddy. But as I said, Pr Prada's the dominant, and so she's kind of mean. She'll push her. She'll push you off the cuddle bone. You can fly like a couple, probably like one foot away. Away. Yeah. How about she can step up with one foot, but she's being. He being difficult. She likes to do her own thing. But, um, as you can see, you know what? I'm gonna put the cage into frame so you can see how she flies back. Here, babe. Let me just show them. Okay, so one, two, three. So that's the perspective. She's. And the first tip on taming your budgie, or a tip, is have millet on check on hand. This is millet. You can buy it for two ninety nine at Pet Supermarket, is where I usually like to get my bird supplies. Um, I think I've been into it a little bit, as you can see. But they also love these egg sticks. So if you ever want to. Work on taming your budgie. Try yeah. boiled eggs. Sorry for my dog. Come on, bud, bud. Come on, puppy. Here, let's see if she'll... You know what? I'm trying to... Really good beat crawler. <laughs> um, so... You definitely should work with millet. I think that would help a lot if you're having trouble with um, taming. As far as taming goes, um, millet would definitely be nice to use. And also, um, reintroducing them to new toys will help their mental stimulation, so that might help getting like a pert or a swing might help because you'll get the motion of your finger moving and just um better um sorry for the background um better um Better, um, better, um, 
with them stepping up, of course. Sorry for that, that's pretty bad. Um, but, um, that will definitely help. Help them step up. If you're starting off, it's okay to grab them like this, but um, you have to do it very gentle. Because if you crush a bone, then it's not going to be good. But behavior-wise, um, if your buddy's biting, they might have a teething issue, so you might want to take them to the vet if that's possible for finance, stuff like that. If you're looking for um, a, a chewing solution, I would highly suggest getting them a cuddle bone. They look like this. They're only, it's that yellow thing in the back, and it's on a cuddle bone holder, and that's, that's P right there. Okay, and so a cuddle bone will help. It'll also help trim their beak and their um, talons. So if your buddy's having trouble biting, then I would suggest that in a vet visit. Or you should definitely get them some grits. You can buy that for about six dollars for a thing this big. It's pretty, pretty worth it, I'd say. But yeah, so I think that that's all you guys need to know for taming your budgie. Sorry that this video was so run on. Um. Thank you. We'll get a goodbye. We'll get a goodbye from you. Ew. Ew. Um, I'm working on free flying her inside, so if that's why she's cursing, that's why. Thank you so much, and bye.